Alright people, welcome back. More Vine and Y. So I hope you guys are enjoying the return. I hope you guys are enjoying the changes. So, of course, we're moving on. So today is Tuesday, and it is not Play Glitches You Bell. Play Glitches You Bell has been taken off of Vine and Y, of course. And uh, we're, of course, I'm taking my breaks on the weekend. So one of the decks on the weekend I wanted to go ahead and keep, of course, being Labrador, you Bell. Gotta move it. Move it to Tuesday, of course. So before we begin, before we begin, I have some awesome news. And I have some awesome news that you guys are probably going to be like, what? All right. I actually have, all right, are you prepared for this? I actually have three Ubel decks, three that aren't on Vibe and White, but are in the working. I know, and of course, I am wanting to go ahead and take off Cosmic Ubel. I just kind of feel it's more like a Yang Zing deck with Ubel thrown in, and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that these three that I made will be a little bit more Ubel centric, of course, because, you know, I still want to get Ubel involved. But I still want, you know, the plays to be unique, but Ubel still to be involved in, uh, of course, when it comes to Cosmic, not really. So, the three decks, and I was thinking about maybe testing one of them uh, this upcoming Thursday for webcam duels, you know, for my live video. Uh, but I'm just not sure how you feel about it. So, the first one is, of course, Red Eyes Ubel. I know you've heard saying, God damn it, Daniel. God damn it, we're tired to see that deck. I changed it. I changed it a lot. You know, I worked with Stanzi, we sat down, and we worked on that deck for at least two hours. Working on that, changing it, testing it, and we think we got something. It, you know, it's more ritual-based. You know, it actually uses the ritual cards, you know. Uh, and I feel like it's maybe even a more consistent version of the deck besides just, oh my god, I drew a whole bunch of summon skulls and you bell, and I can't fuse, and this is a shitty hand, you know. Because that was actually at one point where I was just like, fuck it, let's just go ball to the wall, triple red eyes, triple summon skull, triple fusion, and let's just fuse over and over again. And then, you know, of course, I drew you battle with a whole bunch of red eyes and summon skull, and it turned to shit, and I couldn't duel. So, yes, I remade the red eyes deck. It is more ritual based, but it does still have the fusion, um, you know, it utilizes um, the. It's like Knight of Dark Dragons, and, you know. I feel like the deck, the, the version of this Red Eyes deck, Red Eyes Ubel deck, is much better. So I was thinking maybe trying that out. All right, that's deck number one. I know I need to get into a duel, but I don't want to get too distracted. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to me, because I don't want you guys to just come and watch the, the game and not listen to me. So listen to me. All right, deck number two. Deck number two was actually I was working on it while taking a break from Red Eyes Ubel. I actually wanted to work on, I, and you won't believe this. I actually tried Melodious Ubel. That deck didn't work. Like. The deck was all lights, they're all fairies that have nothing to do with Ubel at all, and it ended up just being Ubel throwing a Melodious deck, and I'd, I'd essentially be doing the exact same thing I've been doing with Cosmic Ubel, so I was like, no, throw it away. So, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Stanzi was like, you know, why don't you try Umbros? And I was like, what the fuck are Umbros? And I looked at him like, you know what, that might just work, you know. Uh, I already used Mass Chameleon like crazy, you know, this is just go ahead and summon Ubel. So let's go ahead and add Mass Chameleon, some other monsters have zero defense, and go into C plays, and, uh, you know, Try it up that. So I actually made an Umbra email you know, deck. So that's deck number two. And deck number three. It's actually um <laughs> a viewer slash subscriber actually asked me to go ahead and make a evil hero you know, deck. And I tried this deck in the past and I was I kinda didn't, you know, know what to do with it. I didn't know how much about it. But I actually sat down and I made like a rough draft of the deck and I was just like, hey, you know what, here here you go, I guess. You know? Uh, I haven't had any feedback from him saying, you know, like, oh, yeah, this deck is working fine, or, you know, go ahead and change this, but, you know, I sent it to him, and I haven't got to test it out myself, so I was thinking about me testing it now, you know? Like I said, I don't want, you know, webcam duels to be a testing ground for decks, but, you know, these are essentially three brand new Ubel decks that have never been on Vibe and Y, are their own entity, and... I was thinking about me just talking about on webcam duels. I, you know, of course we're gonna get a live video um, this upcoming Thursday. You know, I said that in the video. I was like, oh, you know, the well, before I, I need to get back into live videos. Uh, so we're gonna do, you know, two Diablo commentaries a week while I get back into doing live videos. No, fuck that. I got my webcam. I'm gonna try this fucker out. And you're probably saying like, well, you can always do webcam on Vine. Why? Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't work like that. So, uh, you know what? In the comment section below, go ahead and tell me. Go ahead and tell me. Just be like, you know what? Yeah, use one of those decks. You know what? If you guys want to, go ahead and tell me uh, which which one of those decks you want to see for webcam duels. I definitely want to do webcam duels. I want to try out my new webcam, of course. And uh, I want to at least try one of the decks. So tell me in the comment section below, tell me which one of the three decks you want to see first. You know, do you want to see the new version of Red Eyes Bell? Uh, do you want to go ahead and see... Uh, uh, I'm probably not going to like what my opponent is doing here. 
Doesn't look like I am. Looks like he's gonna go ahead and summon Ultimate Herald. Of course. Of course. Like, yay! Like, like, why, 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 why even play? I hate Ultimate. I hate Herald. I hate. I hate, uh, monsters that do this. I hate all, all of them. I think they're all stupid. I think Infinity is stupid. I think Zoltman is stupid. I think Herald is stupid. I think they're all stupid. Like, a monster shouldn't be that powerful. Never. Never should a monster be able to go ahead and negate everything as if it's a freaking solemn judgment esque card effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon Summoner Monk. He's gonna go ahead and pitch a fairy and negate me, and I'm gonna lose. So, because there's, I needed some, I clearly need Summoner Monk, so. <sighs> So he'll just be like, Harold, hey, negate, you know? So I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked, so. It's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fucking stand, uh. Generate a player's turn when your monster, when your opponent was special summon a monster, a monster is always spell trap card. Okay, so. So, that. Just so you can just be like, negate, and I'm like, oh, okay. Alright. I said, I can't stand. Can't stand monster effect like that. None of them. None of them. None of them. All right. Well, well, there you go. I admit defeat. I can't get around Harold, even if I wanted to. So, there you go. I can't stand Harold. I hate Harold. I hate Infinity. I hate all of them. I think they're too busted. Way too busted. It's just like, why would you give a monster the power of a freaking counter trap? It doesn't make any sense. But, hey, that's fine. You know, I think fucking Vortex is busted. I think any. Oh, fucking Loggy is busted. All of them. All of them. Yet, and then they turn into Saki decks because then you devote a whole entire deck to them, and then you just pretty much stun the living shit out of your opponent. Like you know, you know, I don't mind a little bit of controlling Yu-Gi-Oh. It takes a little bit of skill to have control, go go back and forth and duel. But if you're literally stunning the shit out of your opponent just because your monster has effects like that, what fun is that? You know, what fun is that? It's not. Sorry, sorry, I had to do a little rant there. I just came back and I'm already ranting about Yu-Gi-Oh, but. Just wanted to get my give my opinion on those cards. I hate them. I hate them all. <laughs> Every single one of them is just like new. Like why? Why? <laughs> why is that even a fucking thing to have monsters just be able to negate anything? You know. All right. Well, its hand's not terrible. It's just it's not good. It's like meh. I'm going to go ahead and, of course, send that uh, Labradite. You know, just like he did. Just like he did. And then maybe next turn summon in the sound again. I might as well go for Leo. Yeah. There's no shame in my game if I go for Leo, right? No, first turn Leo is fine. You know, I'll probably get Dark Hold. I mean, Dark Hold. Regeki, but hey. Better go ahead and have him Regeki than, you know, things upcoming. I, I did change that trick. I can put Leo down to one. I don't really summon them that often. <laughs> I don't really need really one, and once I summon him properly, it's not like I need him multiple times in the future. You know, Leo's, mm, there's nothing wrong with a nice first turn Leo. Nice 31 BR can't be targeted, no complaints, right? So. Anyway, it sucks that I drew you Bell, so unless I get Dark Greffer, you Bell's kind of just stuck in my hand right now. You know, I love me some Iron Again Knight, but when you draw you Bell, it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> No, it's just like, it's just like, yeah, Armageddon Knight, whoo, oh, yeah, draw, limit verse, awesome, awesome, I'm just gonna Armageddon Knight, send you bell, have the limit verse, draw you bell, oh, fuck, <laughs> you know, like, simply just drawing you bell can, you know, completely, completely and utterly just change everything, 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 so, uh, alright, gonna go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight, but, so, that's so three back rooms, set monster, I mean, Probably one of them is Mirror Force, but, you know, at this point, I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't care at all if I get Mirror Forced. I wouldn't be surprised. The question is that am I going to go ahead and attempt to, you know, overextend, uh, you know, do things along those lines. You know, because right now I can just go ahead and activate Silver's Cry, summon you, summon Mally, go into Ultimaya, set the Silent Doom, Ultimaya, go ahead and summon me... Possibly Beals, just because, you know, if I get Mirror Forced, then it's pretty clear that I'm going to get Mirror Forced, you know, so. No, fuck it. Let's go ahead and push for it. Let's go ahead and push for it. So, that's why I Silver's Cry. Okay. Let's go ahead and push for it. I'll probably make this video a little bit longer, just because I talked for, like, maybe, like, the first five minutes, and you guys didn't get any duel. You didn't get your duel on, so. 
So, now I just gotta hope that my opponent doesn't have Torrental. Actually, it wouldn't be too terrible. Still have Sun and Doom and stuff, but... Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be hurting. I can't take that TT. TT right now would just be like, <gasps> heartbreaking. So, of course. So, we got Shotgun into... Ultimaya Tsukotsukoko. Oh, lose one turn. Ew. Oh. Alright. That sucks. Alright, that's fine. Leo attack. I did not know you could set Cleese. I've never seen him set. <laughs> never, never, never set a Klee. Interesting. So it is Cleese. Ew. I mean, I play Cleese, so I'm saying this is going to be a difficult duel. At least Ultimaya has its effect, so. It just, uh, it just sucks that every time I summon a monster with Ultimaya, it's just going to have its fucking. Fact again and turn in defense mode every single time. Like this card, I play Cleese and this card. Wow, 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 wow. Cleese actually lost to me. Wow, he just messaged you terribly. Like I said, most of the time I do a Cleese and they fucking open up with the scout. So I guess he didn't open up with the scout. You know, he had Lulu on turn, but I was already outpacing him. Now Leo, you know, the power. <laughs> can't target me, bitch. Can't target me. So you can't even bounce me with your tributing or nothing. Like, not bad. Not bad. This kind of sucks. You know, as soon as I'd set, then I'd summon my Synchro Monster, which is nice, but then it's effectively negated in turn effects mode. And it just slows down the duel. <laughs> slows down the duel. It's like a weird combination of, like, skill drain and vanities. Like, ugh. Can't stand moves on turn. And I play Cleese, like I said. Depending on how the banish is. Oh. Uh, FYI, this is before the ban list. This was recorded before the ban list. So I don't know what's on it yet. Can't see into the future. Ew. Draw ultimate here again. All right. Go ahead and Rota. What warrior deck are we facing down this time? Only boxers. Okay. Okay. Foolish. Uh huh. Foolish's power. It's a Meg 1, but it's a powerful Meg 1. You get to go ahead and send any monster. Like, whoo! The power. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and summon headgear. Mm-hmm. Then headgear, go ahead and send Glassdraw. Glassdraw, go ahead and grab you back your, uh, what's its face? Yep. Yep, I know your plays. I know your plays! So, of course, going into Leo is not going to serve much purpose. Alright. Inspire. Red Blowjob. Yep, yep, yep. Upstart. Cause why not? Is that some background end? Wow, not even any background. Whoo, nigga, 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 nigga. I hope you have a fight with her, because I'm definitely going to fucking 101 your ass. Like, really? Do I even run 101? I run Castel. It's close enough, I guess. I'd rather have 101. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Actually, this card special, normal, send, send. Oh, just send, send. Silver's Cry with the Mali, except the Regeki, go into a Beals. What the fuck is he gonna do against a Beals? You know, and I can hold on to my resources more. Yeah, what the fuck can you do against the Beals? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm assuming maybe he has like a Fek Veiler or something? Because I don't believe that I run... No. Oh, I could go into freaking Moonlight. Moonlight can bounce him. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> that's so good. You're not doing anything. I don't need you. Yeah, that's so good. That's so good. Yeah, I'm going to go into Moonlight and bounce him. Fuck Beals. I can do Beals later. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, this is fun. <laughs> of course, I've got a Mally effect. Banish Mally, summon a Mally. And we'll go ahead and go Silver's Cry. Summon you. I won't have much left just because, you know, look at me, look at my hand, not really. But. Fact. Fact. It probably won't run. I run. I'm not running Michael just because I don't like it. 
So if this card is special summon, so it doesn't even have to be summoned properly, it's a special summon. Or for level 5 or higher monster, a special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Target one special summon monster your opponent controls and return that target to your hand. You can only use this effect of uh, Moonlight Monster. Nah. I still think Beals would be better. Because Moonlight, you could probably just summon something and run it over. Nah, nah. I'm going to go Moonlight. You don't get... This card doesn't get summoned often, so we'll go ahead and do it. So I'm wondering if it has Defect Veiler, because if it has Defect Veiler, then I'm definitely going to go ahead and overextend Pitch, Summon, go into Castell and get rid of that. But, you know, he didn't send any back row or anything. Like, like usually I expect something to back up the Light Blow, like Effect Veiler or Fiendish Chain, something to block, because, you know, I'm sure you're blocked from destruction, but, you know, most things, 101 Castell, scoop you right up. So, you got to be careful when it comes to summoning him. He probably doesn't know the effect, so. Return. Okay, alright, you got it. Alright. Book you for 14. And book you for 24. So, I seriously doubt a level 5 or higher is going to be special summoned to my opponent's side of the field. So. <laughs> yeah, well, he's running, clearly running boxers. If that happens, then what? <laughs> but I doubt it. I doubt it. You know. Ooh, double Rotor. Rotor is such a powerful card. It definitely is. Are you just going to do the same exact play you were going to do before? Yeah, you're going to upstart me again. Thanks for the light points, I guess. Alright, going to go ahead and summon Headgear. Yep. Yep, yep. Headgear, go ahead and summon, send Glashgall. Glashgall, go ahead and grab you back. Spar, which... What does it say? You cannot conduct your battle phase for the rest of your turn, so... You can't even t attack into me, so. So, this time I hope when you go into lead blow draw, I hope it's for something else. At least it's not, it, it doesn't have to be a battling box or exceed monster, though, so. I think we'd be even with, no. I'm still up, so. Sure, I can't cut your back for this. You can go next on, especially someone going next on. Which would simultaneously kill me, so. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, all my shit would just die. So it doesn't even matter if you go next time. Because the next time you have four, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So next time would be great. No, you're just gonna go into another fucking lead blow job. So why did I think you were gonna do anything other than fucking uh, giving me, trying to give me a fucking lead blow job? So clearly this duel is over. I thought yeah, I was gonna give you a little bit more credit and be like, oh shit, he's gonna go next time. He's gonna exit on me. That's gonna suck. You know? No, no, clearly no. Clearly no. So, this is summon Dark Greffer. Activate my effect. Pitch. Oh, I'll just make a fucking Castell and spin him, because clearly my opponent doesn't think he can go in anything other than fucking like Blowjob here, so. <sighs> Excuse me. So, I'll just go into Castell. Effect. Oh, wow. This duel is really sad. Just, I wish he would have done more. No. Yeah. Go ahead and set this effect. Go ahead and summon Beals. And that's it. Unless you have some way of blocking it. Alright. That was that was pretty bad. Alright people. Sorry for the jump cut there, but I ran into a ghost trick player that we duel for twenty five minutes and Nothing happened, so that was the end of that video. So I decided to go ahead and chop that off, and delete that, re-record duel. Then I re tried to re-record duel against spellbook players who literally one up me to death, and I couldn't play shit. So threw that one away. Uh, it's good to be back where I have to fucking re-record over and over and over and over and over again because I can't fucking get a good duel. Uh, anyway, let's try this again. Like it was, it was bad. It was like he had the fiendish chains. He had all three fiendish chains every single time I tried to do something. Fiendish chain, fiendish chain, fiendish chain, fiendish chain. Fake, 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 fake. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. I couldn't do shit. It was terrible. I made me want to cry. His hand's pretty bad, I must say. It's pretty bad. If I get Dark Greffer, then it's great. But without Dark Greffer, it's pretty bad. I need Greffer immediately. ASAP. Now. Ah. <sighs> so, let's try this. Maybe third time is to try. Because sometimes it's just, it's just really hard to get uh, some decent duels in Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you want to get some kind of Karibo deck? 
So you're going to add the Kribo, you're going to special summon the Kribo. So you're going to add the Kribo. Okay, that's fun. This is resolved. Thank you. So Scarecrow? Just set that. Just set that. You know, if you want to play it on my turn, you can play it on my turn. Yeah, I need Dark Reffer. I'm not going to lose to this fucking scrub. Dark Reffer. Go! Yep, there's Dark Reffer. <laughs> Alright. Time, time to get the play started, people. Alright, we're going to end this freaking video. At the high part. That was like, Dark Reffer, go! Go. Of course, summon Dark Reffer. Get my effect. Send you to the graveyard. Send Labradite to the graveyard. And the Mali effect. And banish. Summon Maui. Call. Labradite. Synchro. Synchro Shulkan. Call stays. Ultimaya to Sulkin. And we'll just go ahead and set this. Get my effect. I am feeling kind of billsy today. Yeah, let's go Beals. Oh, I can go into Void Ogre and then negate his freaking jar so he'll just neg. Yeah, let's do that. Void Ogre. If he activated it on my turn, of course, then I will negate it because there's nothing else for me to negate, but not very often I get to go ahead and go into Void Ogre. Say, I attack with Greffer first. I mean, yeah, okay, that's fine. It's the same damage. Attack, you take 16. Attack, you take 17. Go ahead. Uh oh, they said another card. You know what? I'll let you get that. I'll let you get that. It's a one for one. It's like activating upstart. If you activated it during my turn, I would have negated it, but... Hmm... Let's go ahead and go into Scrap Dragon. This should be game. Oh wait, he has Karibo. <laughs> I was gonna say, this should be game. They caught Karibo. Fuck that minion bug. Woo! Middle finger to the minion bug. <laughs> Here's a thought. Hmm. I can always go for another Ultimaya. Is it really necessary though? I don't have another thing to set though. So, no. I'll just attack. Why did I come in Dark Rifle when I have a perfectly good call of the hunted sitting here with nothing attached? So is that during your opponent's turn out of damage cards? You can discard the card you took no bound damage from that battle. From that battle. Unless you have another Kribo, you're going to take this 3,000. Nope, looks like you didn't have another one. Yeah, I'm fucking this man up. Long dick stat now. <laughs> No, right, Scrap would definitely destroy the Call of Haunted. Yep, you do. Like that. Here's this Call. Pop your monster. Shall we go double Ultimaya? We could. Wow. Wow. 
Fucking Wing Kree, though. He takes no damage this turn. Nigga. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I can't get the damage out. Damn you, Jaden and Yugi. Stop with the fucking Karibo. You're facing down some goddamn monsters right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. Guess Beals. Handsome. You can only stop inherent summons with uh, black one. Yep. There is a particular type of summon called inherent that does not start a chain that black horn can stop this is not one of those summons that's why i hate when uh when freaking noobs use black horn because it's such a it's a, such a complicated concept no reset it reset it you can't even play it so there's no point in you even doing that do I even have you bell in the graveyard? I don't think so. No, I don't. <clears throat> I was thinking about maybe going and, you know, activating Limit first in the end phase, turning it summon Terra, then having Scrap destroy Terra somewhere else tonight and get you bell in this duel involved, but I don't have you bell in the graveyard. <laughs> I clearly I just, you know, beat the living shit out of you with this monstrosity. And it's face up attack position. Target one face up attack position. <sighs> Just click all my monsters. <laughs> we didn't need benefit. That's fine. <laughs> it's like this one. This one. This one. Like, nigga. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Hmm, I'm not. Some him just for Void Ogre. Alright, this should be game. Activate this card by targeting one face of monster in the field whose original attack is. has more than a thousand original attack. It has a level, its level is reduced to one, also it loses a thousand attack. I watched the field to this card. Okay. I guess. I couldn't get that with Void, but it's still game anyway, so. There we go. There. We actually showed off some plays, and I actually got to get a decent duel of me actually doing something. Wasn't the, the best opponent, but hey, I had fun with Labradite. I topped up that Dark Greffer, and it was too good. So, uh, there. Now I can wrap this episode up. So, like I said, I wanted to make it a little bit longer since I talked in the beginning, but uh, finally, after many redos, finally got it. So, anyway. Uh, like I said, in the comment section below, be sure to comment which of the three Ubel decks you want to see uh, for upcoming webcam duels this Thursday. Do you want to see a different form of Red Eyes Bell? Do you finally want to see a version that works of that deck? Because I think I finally got it working. Do you want to see Umber Bell, which I kind of just made up on the spot, but, uh, you know, I think it probably has, you know, the best synergy out of all of them when it comes to Bell, just because, you know, Bell uses Mass Chameleon, you know, I, run a, I XC a lot, I can go into, like, I run Diamond Dyer, so I can go ahead and pop tear and you know, summon ultimate nightmare, so I'm not wiping all my shit, you know, we can do this, so, you want to see Umber you bell, uh, or do you want to see, uh, Evil Hero Bell? it's a deck that I made for a viewer slash subscriber, I made it for him, never tested it out, so, if you guys want me to go ahead and test it out, then we can do that, so, 
Like I said, comment section below, go ahead and comment, and which, whatever, which one gets commented the most, we'll go ahead and test it out this upcoming webcam duels on my new shiny 60 frames per second, 1080p webcam, alright? And I promise you, usually I put my videos at 720p, it's quicker to render, and, you know, I'm playing damn Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and, you know, do you really need that crisp 1080p on a damn Yu-Gi-Oh card? You need to see the fucking sweat dropping down on my opponent's fucking character picture, don't you know? So, I promise you, for that video, for webcam duels, and pretty much for all my lab videos, just to make sure that the quality is crisp, and of course, the live video, I will render in 1080p for you guys. My webcam recording 1080p, I will render in 1080p, you guys will get the 1080p. So, uh, look forward to it, I'm excited. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and despite the changes, I will still see you guys tomorrow with you galaxies. Alright, people, thanks for watching. Thank you.